Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 213. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 211 to 214. Hey, in 213, we're going to do the same thing we did in 212, but with a formula. Here it is. We have a little data set, and we want to extract the uh, numbers that match this criteria, but there's one, two, three of them. The problem, one problem is if we wanted to use VLOOKUP, which we're going to do here, um, and extract the data here dynamically, uh, we can't use this as the first column because there's duplicates. Well, we'll see a way to create a unique identifier. A in essence, we're adding a column <coughs> that'll create a uh, unique identifier for us. But the thing, that what we want to do here is we want to be able to add new records to the bottom here and have this area, this data extract area, update dynamically. So as we add new records, if it matches the criteria, we want the formula just to add. All right, let's first see how to add, um, add a unique identifier to the left of our table so we can use VLOOKUP. We'll use equals this right here. And if we copied this down right here, we'd get the same thing here, 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 and here. But what we want is we want that number that actually matches this criteria here plus 1 here. And then here we want plus 2. And then here we want plus 3. In essence, creating a unique identifier. So we'll take whatever that is right there and ampersand. And then we'll use count if. What are we going to count? Well, we're, we need an expandable range. So as we move this formula down, when it gets to this one, it can count 1. When it gets to here, it'll see the second occurrence, so we'll count 2. So we're going to click there and then use Shift colon. And then we'll double click that first C13 and hit the F4 key to lock it. That'll be our range comma, and then we want to count one cell to our left. And I can't quite click on it, so I'm just going to click right here and then use my up arrow. <clears throat> There's lots of ways to do it, and that is one of them. Close parentheses. Now we can control enter, and as we, if we double click and send it down, we can see that if we look here, that green range right there, which is that expanded, it's got a 1 there. When it gets down here, it's got a 2. When it's got there, it's a 3. Now, we did a, there's another video where we did that, but we're going to use uh, this in combination with some other stuff. All right, uh, let's go over here and create a formula that will dynamically extract data. Now, um, first, we need to count how many occurrences of this there are. Why don't we just do that right here? I'm going to say uh, count. And then I'm going to say equals count if. I'm going to highlight this whole range here, comma, this. And it will always count, Control Enter. So right now, there are 0 because I highlighted the wrong range. I'm going to hit F2. And watch this. You can actually move a formula range by finding your move cursor there and click and dragging. Now I can Control Enter, and it counts 3. Now, what we want to do here, since uh, that that C21 is right here, what if I mean right here? What if we add a new record right now? It wouldn't do anything. If you have 2003 or seven, this trick will do it. We're going to convert this to an actual table. I'm going to click somewhere in the data set. Make sure there's blanks all the way around. Control L in 2003. Control T in 2007. The beauty of lists and tables is that all column ranges will and ranges this way will be dynamic. As you add new records, all formulas, all charts will update. Click OK. Now, when we start to add new records to the bottom of this table, that little formula there will update. So will the ones we create over here. Now, let's come over here. Actually, I'm going to highlight this. Go to my paintbrush uh, format painter, which is on the uh, format toolbar in 2003. Click that, and then click that right there. All right, let's create a formula here that we can copy everywhere. We need our unique identifier here. First, we need a way to turn on and off the formula, because we only have three records right now, and the next rest need to be blank. So we'll say equals if. And we're going to say rows. And we're in G13, so I'm going to type G, dollar sign 13, colon, G13. <coughs> 
this is an expandable range, which will count 1, 2, 3, because rows right now is counting 13 to 13. 1, when it gets down here, it'll be 13 to 14. It'll count 2. It's a great way to increment inside a formula. And that's got to be less than or equal to our count over here. And I'm going to hit uh, F4, because that needs to be locked in all directions. Now, um, if that's true, what do we want? We want to do VLOOKUP. And we need to create our unique identifier here. But we need to somehow have uh, that thing plus 1, uh, and then that thing plus 2 as we go down rows. Well, that's not a problem. Watch this. We'll ampersand. We'll click on this and hit F4. And we'll ampersand this little great thing right here. This is great. So we're already incrementing 1 to we need, we need inside of a formula way to increment numbers. Uh, we've used it there. And now we're going to use it again there. So if you look up the table array, so that's the lookup value. The table array is the whole table, and we need this whole table here. Notice how we're highlighting the table, right? And we're going to hit F4 to lock it. Oh, that's table 5. So uh, the table nomenclature, uh, when you create a table, that doesn't show up in 2003. It shows up a, as a range, but it will still um, dynamically expand. I'm going to say a comma. Now the column. Now look at this. We need um, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're using VLOOKUP. We're not using like uh, index and match, which is a way to match names. So why don't we just do this? Why don't up here we did rows. Let's use columns here, because we need a 1 for the first, 2 for the second, 3 for here, and 4 for here. So we'll just use the same logic of the rows, but with columns. And we have to pick our G, but guess what? The dollar sign has to be in front of the G. Colon G13. Because we're lock, we're lock going across columns, but not going down. So that'll give us 1, 2, 3, 4 as we go this way. And for the whole column, will be 1. The whole column will be 2 here. Comma, and then 0, because this is an uh, exact match. Exact match. Close parentheses. Uh, that's on the VLOOKUP. Oh, and then we have a an IF here. And the value of false is going to be comma blank, close parentheses. Now, um, this is not an array formula. We've done similar uh, data extract things like this with array formulas. This isn't an array formula. We can just control enter. And the, re well, the reason why is because we created this little column here. Now I'm going to copy this over and then copy it down. And I'm going to expand this column right here, because I want to see all those numbers. And sure enough, we have 1, 2, 3, and there's our records. Now let's um, do two things to test it. Let's add a new record at the bottom. I'm actually going to copy this, so I don't have to type it. I'm such a bad typist. Now here's how you add new records to the bottom of tables. Cursor there, tab. Now that's a formula. Formulas are automatically copied down when, when you have a, a table or list. Tab. Control V, you can already see it's got a fourth record there. I'm going to say uh, off peak, and I'm going to say uh, 500. Wow, we love people that use off peak 500 if you're the uh, cell phone companies. And then I'm going to hit tab and add a uh, new record. Do it again. Uh, we'll do uh, long distance and uh, five. Control Enter, because I don't want to add anymore. Now let's see if we change this up here. I'm gonna just going to copy this one right here to copy and change the criteria up here. And sure enough, now um, it's only got one. So that is a pretty cool little uh, system we built there for extracting uh, records from a database, adding a unique uh, identifier, and having a formula that's not an array formula. All right, we'll see you next trick.